Hi there, this is Molly and welcome to another astrology video where we're going to talk about the rising sign or ascendant in Cancer. Now your rising sign is your first impression. It's how people first identify you before they know you, which is all of your astrology chart. That's more of your energy. This is the front door to who you are and how you present yourself to the world. So the Cancer rising sign tends to be very caring and kind kind, empathetic, and a good listener. It wants to take care of other people. It can be very receptive and accommodating to what other people need, what they're doing, and you can present yourself in a way that lets other people feel safe with you or that they trust you. A lot of Cancer rising signs get a lot of people talking in their life. They become good listeners. They become the ones who also offer to take care of other people or to help out, whether that's in a daily way or as a friend or just by nature. They want to contribute and do something to help other people uh, feel loved and feel taken care of. Now, the rising sign is also where your physical body is defined because it's also the start of the first house here. And so with the Cancer rising, you can feel very soft. You can look uh, nurturing and kind and just have a very uh, a sensitivity about you, perhaps, uh, because of the water nature of Cancer rising, you do have to take care to drink a lot of water, but also to make sure that you're not absorbing the emotions or energies of other people and having them trapped in your body. This can be an area of even unconscious weight gain where you're looking to process other people's energies or other people's emotions or even unconsciously process your own emotions um, because of everything that you feel. Cancer rising feels a lot. It feels things of other people in the world, and it has to be aware of that energy within itself. It's important to be mindful, too, for Cancer rising. If you feel defensive, self-protective, or vulnerable, this is a part of you that just wants to protect itself and stay safe. It often comes from a good place, but you have to be mindful of those times when maybe your emotions feel too big or something feels too big. And so you you the emotions just feel so big and you don't know what to do with it. And it can feel like the world is really big, energetically big. Uh, with the Cancer rising, your ruling planet is moon, the moon in your chart. So wherever the moon is, it gives another layer of understanding to how you present yourself. And wherever house location the moon is in is where that moon energy wants to express itself. It's where it feels. It's where it needs an emotional connection and where it has to take care of oneself but could also come across as taking care of others. So it's a very nurturing sign, very loving, but whatever the moon energy is tells us more about how you come across to other people. So in your chart, look for where the moon is and you'll gain more information. For example, the moon here in the third house, well, this is the house of, of speaking, of your voice, of communicating. So this is a this person needs to really be vocal about their feelings, have someone to talk to, have a way to think it out and process information in a safe way, and that will help it express itself in the most and highest possible ways with this cancer energy. I hope this brought you some good understandings into all of the layers of your chart, and I'll be back soon with another teaching video. Thank you, friends.